And remember, my scores are unofficial. They are going for the bonus with four minutes and 25 seconds left. Oh, are they going around it that way? I think they just have a certain thing they They're worried about the front pumpkin banging. They have to go that way? I don't remember I the other so. one going I think that they way. Must tell you. They're going to do it however they have to. He does not want to touch this cone because if he does, it'll change the game for him big time. It won't give him any margin for error. He will have to go for the bonus if he touches this cone. He'll have to go for the final bonus and complete it. And he gets by! Just barely! That puts him at a minus 16 versus a minus, he only needs a minus 3, so Brad Stiles and Ken Shoup putting down a good competition at this point. They did win the first two rounds of We Rock East. He's got to get up and over this. He's belly hung. And he lets the winches out. They got a little bit careless there by diving in with the winches sucked in. And they will take it back up. That puts him in a minus 15. Two and a half minutes left. I don't like their belly. Uh -uh. What is the game they play at this point? There's your champions right there. And there is your champions. Brad Stiles and Ken Shoup do not go for the final line. They do not eat and eat it. They have worked so hard all weekend long. Trust me. Kyle Shortridge was playing hard yesterday, leading all the way through midday today. And that puts Ken Shoup and Brad Stiles at the top of the unlimited pile for the third We Rock Eastern competition in a row. Give it up for Southern Styles Rock Racing. And let's get those Pro Modifieds ready. Judge, when he gets up top. Come on, we need you up top. Let's get him up top. Come on. Spotter. His name is Bill. Bill. If he needs to, if he needs to get out of the way, I think that's what they're going to tell him. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, hey, don't go anywhere. We need you to top of the hill. Can you, can you do that for me? No. Yeah. Oh, be careful. Ooh. What is it he's got to do now? He's got to come back down this way, I think. Yeah, Bill's got to go. Mike Hale, Drew Goldie, sitting in sixth place. Mike Cole, sitting in fifth. Else. Rusty Bray, sitting in fourth. Chris May. Sitting in third. Derek West sitting in second. Shannon Campbell sitting in first. He's All of these guys can move there. around. That's not and good. it's going to no, be he's one not a good angle crazy at all. event. He's we not need a good those promos up here right yeah. away. Especially Mike Cole. Mike Cole, you're up. We'll get Drew Goldie up here in a minute. Did you take a picture of it? To I chat with us, but he will not be competing in the shootout, even though he qualified. His rig is done. Now, the game of Pro Mods. Here's the thing. 
They don't have rear steer. They don't have single seats where they sit next to the transportation transmission. They don't have those huge tires. These guys are at a big disadvantage, and yet they are running the same course as the Unlimiteds just ran. So we'll have to see how things go in the Pro Mods. How many will actually be able to finish? Because time management is key on this. Mike, can you join us up top? Mike, Mike Hill, come on up top. I know you want to walk some more. I know you've been working hard. You want to stand in the sun. So come on up and stand in the sun with me and receive some glory. Is he? You know what? We got a little bit of downtime. There's food and drinks. And also while you're here, we want to give out a big thanks to Stowers Rental and Supply, the cat rental store. Those guys have helped us out so much with logistics and set up the Kubota rentals, the just about anything we needed. They were on the spot. And a big thanks goes out to those guys. story because you weren't driving yesterday. It's your rig and you put somebody else in the driver's seat. Why don't you tell us the story of how that happened? Uh, yesterday I went to Pensacola and I woke up and stayed in the hotel a couple hours and so I let Mike, Mike Hill save the day and come in and drove for us, did pretty good and I feel better today and we came back and tore up some more stuff. So. Right on, well we're glad to see you feeling better. Mike Hill, how was it to, you know, you had the chance to get out there and drive that buggy. Does that give you an advantage then jumping into the spotter position after you've driven it? It does. It is for me. You know what it feels like inside, so you, you know what information it's to you. It's both sides. It's an advantage, guys. You've never done the other. Try it. Well, you're from around here, isn't that right, Mike? I'm the buggy. Ah! 